basically got you know about 25 yard shot if they come out uh, to the corn. Oh, there's a white down right there. Welcome on back to the channel everybody. We are still here at deer camp and it is time for me to do a little hunting. So if you, you watched the last video, Mission Impossible, we got Steph a deer down. So now it's, it's my turn to go hunting. Pretty sure I just heard a hog growl behind me. Today's video is sponsored by GuggenSquad.com, our huge November merch drop month something new coming at you every week uh, with all new stuff including uh, cold weather gear performance gear fantastic threats including this vest that I'm wearing right now very fashionable good for the deer camp good for picking up the honeys although I already got a honey but anyway link down below go check it out what we're gonna be doing out here today is building a blind to go uh, really we're really going after a pig right now and then a big buck later I shouldn't even be using my my loud human voice right here at this spot right now this stand I've recently in the last couple weeks seen uh, a pretty amazing deer he's either at 11 or a, a 12 point he's got a split brow tine uh, really awesome deer he's not very consistent but he is coming here and one of the reasons he's not consistent is the hogs have just absolutely that's a cow the hogs have absolutely taken over this uh, stand so it's a battle the deer when the corn goes off they come in for a little bit and then the hogs just end up running them out uh, even including this big big boy I don't even have a name for him yet. There's a box blind here, but uh, last time I was here, there was a raccoon living in it. Uh, it uh, it's basically been out in the weather for a couple of years. No one's really sat in it, but I've got a really nice cedar tree right behind me here. It's about 40 yards um, from where these animals are gonna come in, uh, but it sets up really nicely. It's a good dark background, and I wanna set this up for not only tonight, and tomorrow's hunt but also uh, in the future in the next the coming weeks and months trying to hunt this deer right here at this place so uh, we've cleared a bunch of brush we're gonna brush it in and uh, you know build ourselves a little hideout and hopefully get one or multiple piggies down so let's get to work we got our blind right here I don't even know what kind it is I got it at Bucky's and I'm gonna use some snips. Some brush has grown up even more than last year, making this spot just perfect. So let's get the ground by sticking in that hole right there. The update on life is that it is extremely windy. I'm gonna go behind the camper so you can hear me hopefully. Uh, we went into town, we got some corn dogs and some snacks and did some you know stuff to kind of kill the time. 
with the kiddos. It's so hard to camp out here when it's this windy. I mean, you open a door, it feels like it's going to come off the hinges. You can't, uh, you, know, you can't even put a plate outside. It'll just fly away, cups, everything like that. It's, it's been terrible. They're inside right now. They're watching Lion King. Dad is going to be watching Hog Takeover, the cinematic uh, non-fiction documentary. That's what I'm about to do. Bob line is hopefully still there. You know, it is extremely windy. I think I tied it down good enough and it's in a good little nook. Gonna do the usual Texas program, take my little corn cup and throw the corn out in front uh, and basically give myself a, a target opportunity, you know, away from brush and away from uh, any kind of fences, any kind of objects that are gonna obstruct my shot and get great video for you guys. If I don't see anything, that's awesome. I'm glad the hogs did not come in there. We might even get to see that 11 point, but if they do, and I'm, t I'm talking, these hogs have been here like every day for a week, uh, we're gonna send an arrow. And it's, it might be a little wobbly with the wind, but hopefully uh, we'll connect. Y'all, we are talking sustained 29 mile an hour winds, according to the weather, weather apps gusts up to 45 it is no joke we almost blew the camera off let's grab a little hoodie it's the good luck hoodie right here crescent it yesterday a little bucks a little bit of red on it for good luck and the wind direction should not be a problem as far as scent goes it might swirl a little bit but you know, I'm just gonna wear this because it's kind of dark. Inside the blind, I'm gonna cover up my face. Obviously not wear sunglasses. And I got something I've never even used before. Dagum Camo Dust. Somebody sent this to the Guggen HQ and it's for, you know, deer, hog, elk, anything that has a nose. Supposedly, you just shake this stuff on your body before you get in there. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to give you, a, oh, it comes in a sock with a deuce. Pat down a little bit, you know what I mean? A little pat down. Get those, get those areas that stank a little bit. <clears throat> Definitely get the shoes. No idea if it works, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Goodness gracious, this is the windiest, the windiest day of all time. All right, just rolled up here, guys. Literally saw a group of pigs as I was coming in here. It's like they're just waiting to get on that corn. It's 440, so they, they just know, and they're, they're going to come to that feeder. So put a bunch of corn out in front, and uh, we're going bow only. So let's get in there. Let's wait for old point point to show up. Pro cars, pretty standard unit. I've basically got, you know, about 25 yard shot if they come out uh, to the corn. Oh, there's a white tail right there. They need some, some nice one.
I'm still trying to study this deer and see if he's mature as I think he is. I've only seen him like a couple times on the camera. And it's it's usually like really low light, but his body looks pretty good. And, um, obviously he's got a big rack, he's got that right side split, brow time. And, uh, you know, I think he's a mature buck. I just want to see if he's like five.
just sent it right by the shoulder and it just, pff, the wind just sailed it right in front of her face. Oh man. I'm gonna wait here because I might get another shot. That was crazy, Jonas. I almost had to. on your chair? Yeah! Yeah. It's good, burning good my eyeballs up. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's burning them up. Yeah. But it's hot. We just gotta stay back a little bit. Okay, how are you getting... You don't want to sit here? I guess I'll hit, sit by the doorway. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your stump right there. Thanks, there Dad. You go. Thanks, Dad. Okay, what song were you singing? We are the Googans. We are the Googans? How does it go? No, it says we are the Googans. <laughs> That's a cute song. Where did you learn that? No, I learned it from my preschool. You learned it in preschool? Yeah. Man, Googans are everywhere. Next generation of Googan. Like right here. Yeah, just like monkeys. Doing a little camp cooking right here, y'all. In my, uh... My skillet, I've got two elk burgers with cheddar cheese, cornbread, and fresh big old ripe tomatoes. Put a little salt on them. That's some good stuff right there. Don't know what happened with that pig, y'all, but uh, I'm gonna go sit that spot in the morning and just see what happens. I, 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 I'm really, I'm, I'm on the fence about uh, shooting that big deer if it comes out because I, I really think that there are just a lot of big deer running around here this year, or deer that we just, you know, three-year-olds, four-year-olds that we kind of watched last year that have sprouted a little bit. And I hate to, I hate to smack down, a, you know, a bunch of tags in 24 hours or whatever it is. Amy, she's trying to put Ben to sleep. Be quiet. I can't. I'm telling you guys, if you didn't, if you didn't watch the last video, it is a miracle that Stephanie got a buck down uh, with all the kids in the blind all at the same time, it's crazy. Well, I can tell you this, the pond deer from last year, or some of you were probably thinking about it, the pond deer was eliminated. Um, I found that out a few weeks ago, uh, got shown some pictures, beautiful five-year-old plus buck, just thick. This deer we were looking at tonight with a split brow, I don't know, I just, I just like him. He's just got, he's, he's mature, he's got a big body, uh, his antlers are, I mean, he's not even as big as the deer I shot last year, uh, but I think he's I'm a year. I'm sinking, Dad. Huh? I'm sinking. You're sinking? Yeah. Well, it's hard ground. How are you sinking? I'm sinking about my mom opening that door. Oh, you're thinking about your mom opening that door. I'm, I'm going to go sit the morning and we'll, we'll see what happens if, uh. If he stands there for a long time, or another buck walks out, <sighs> huh? Who's who gonna come out? My mom. Yeah, she's gonna come out in just a minute. We were just talking about this. Remember? Uh -huh. Like a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna take care of her. Eat. We'll see you in the morning.
past 12 hours in this blind have been so awesome to watch. You know, I'm not going to get that chance at that buck. That's okay. I think that's destiny. Because I, I kind of want somebody else to shoot that buck. I'm going to continue scouting. What I am going to do, I've got, I've got two arrows left. I'm going to wait for these pigs to work towards my corn pile. That's hunting. They uh, they they were gone as fast as they came in. They only stayed for like five minutes, and they rooted around a bunch, and there was like a dozen of them. And I thought they were gonna stay here forever and get a little closer to me, but they never did. And as soon as they started leaving, that none of them like gave me a chance. I was gonna just send one at like 35 yards, but um, they were like behind the fence where I couldn't get them with the bow, so, you know what, they'll be back, they'll run some more hunts, I'm sure, but at least we got one, but the last 12 hours in this blind that I built, some of the best ground blind hunting I've ever experienced, like, just constant action, looking at a big buck, there was just never a dull moment, it was awesome. There's just a little bit of blood, I'm just going in the direction where I heard is but is it it is my enemy it is all in my legs it's in my hands and it's in all of the deer that I clean as well I'm done looking for this pig I'm getting into some deer bedding areas I don't want to be in I'm not gonna look all day for Texas pig but I'm sure he is dead somewhere. Man, you used to go on a hunt, you come back and there's hot coffee and breakfast sausage? Pretty incredible. Man. Look at you in your flannels, beanie, looking very- L.L. Bean-ish. Camp-like. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I'm in, I'm in a bloody sweatshirt. Oh, you told me that after you hugged me. It's dry. <laughs> it's from, from your deer, that's right. <laughs> Which, uh, we're gonna take, take the antlers back, do a Euro mount on Steph's deer. Got the uh, got the whole whole deal there. Saw the buck this morning, babe. The hogs came in, chased it off. It's crazy. I mean, it's like nothing wants to be around these things. They're, they're so nasty. You know, our freezers are <laughs> pretty full right now, so there wasn't a lot of pressure to, to shoot the deer. But I think I'm gonna hunt uh, a little later season, see, what's, see what else is out here, because I think there's some bigger deer running around this year so pretty exciting stuff guys uh thank you for tuning in um to one of my best sits the best like 48 hours of sitting with your hunt uh my hunt it was just crazy tons of action so go ahead and smash that like button and stay tuned for more greatness of the outdoors god bless you and god speed we'll see you soon